For nearly 40 years, Moore's Law has produced exponential growth in hardware performance. During that same time, while most software failed to keep pace with these hardware advances, high-performance numerical software did. Join us as we hear from Jack Dongera, the 2021 ACM AM Turing Award recipient, for his pioneering contributions to numerical algorithms and libraries that enable high-performance computational software to keep pace with exponential hardware improvements for over four decades. I'd like to think that I've had three major um, contributions to, to the field. The first one is in developing packages of mathematical software, in particular linear algebra software. But what we've uh, typically seen is computers uh, changing over a decade in a major ways. And these major ways have produced uh, three orders of magnitude improvement in performance. And each architectural change really requires a rewrite, a redesign, restudying of how the algorithms are developed. It may require us to develop new methods, new algorithms to effectively use that architecture. Uh, one way to view it, perhaps as a crude way, uh, hardware architects take uh, their computer, throw it over the fence at us, uh, we then have to uh, design, look at that our hardware, try to figure out what the best way to match our software and algorithms to that hardware. Uh, the second thing I'd like to say I've contributed to is uh, the ability to develop MPI interface, message passing interface. So it was a community developed standard, de facto standard, which was put in place to provide a mechanism to allow for portable programs to be written so I can run a program on one machine and take it easily to another parallel machine, perhaps by another vendor, and have that program uh, run on that machine without uh, any changes. And the third thing is this area of performance evaluation and benchmarking. While I was at uh, Argonne National Laboratory working on a project called the uh, LINPAC, we were writing that software package and uh, in the appendix to the user's guide for that uh, software, I composed a table which measured the performance for solving uh, a system of linear equations and doing it for a matrix of size 100. I had a colleague in uh, Germany, Hans Moyer, who was at the University of Mannheim. He had a list of the fastest computers ranked by the theoretical peak performance. So Hans and I got together along with Eric Strohmeyer and we put together this list of the 500 fastest uh, computers and we called it the top 500. That was uh, released, I think, in 1993. It comes out twice a year since then. Uh, and it's sort of an interesting way to measure and look at the performance changes over time. So it shows trends, it shows how things have evolved, it shows our fastest computer, which is the number one computer, down to the machine that just made it onto the list. But the top 500 list is uh, interesting. You know, the fastest computer back in uh, 1993 was a computer at Los Alamos National Laboratory. It was a machine called uh, Thinking Machines. And that Thinking Machine computer had a thousand processors in it. Today, my laptop, the thing I use really to read email, is faster than that computer that was used for nuclear weapons simulations. So you could see the changes that have taken place in really a short period of time. And looking forward, we'll see uh, you know, major advances in the same way. The standards Jack Dongera helped create, such as MPI, the LINPAC benchmark, and the top 500 list of supercomputers, underpin computational tasks ranging from weather predictions to climate change, to analyzing data from large-scale physics experiments. I was a graduate student and I was working at uh, Los Alamos National Laboratory. At that time, the Cray-1 was the supercomputer that Los Alamos had. In fact, the LINPAC benchmark is the thing that I was running there to try to capture how fast that computer was. Part of the test also involves checking to see if you got the right answer. And uh, based on that check, I was getting the wrong answer. So of course I thought I had a bug in my program. So I spent the next few days trying to understand where I had gone wrong. So I finally had enough nerve to go up to one of the hardware guys and said, uh, I'm getting the wrong results here. And I wonder if maybe the hardware can, can be uh, making a mistake here. And in fact, the hardware was making a mistake in one of the computations with a certain exponent, it was giving the wrong results. And I think that's an important aspect. You know, we should have a sense of our solutions uh, uh, that we run on our computers and a sense of how well those solutions match what we think the results should be. 
And without that kind of intuition, I think we could be in for a lot of uh, problems. Trying to discover new ways of solving things or new ways, faster ways, better ways, more accurate ways of solving problems. That's something that I think drives me in terms of the research I do, in terms of developing new algorithms and uh, ultimately software that runs on a computer. Learn more about the 2021 ACM AM Turing Award recipient, Jack Dongera, in the June 2021 Communications of the ACM.